Thank you. Okay. If Listen. you want to highlight, press this. Okay. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> My name is um, Sheyi Oluwa Wumiju. And most time I always win because uh, my name is always beating every other person. And mind you, my middle name is not there. If I had it, the only people that could beat me around the world is from Egypt or yeah. all those Indian combined brother, father's name together. Mine is Oluwa Shei, Ola Sukomi, Oluwa Wumiju. <laughs> so I'm an MVP. Actually, um, as David said, office half and service. I'm also a trainer and also happen to be the regional lead for Nigeria and extending the responsibility to the West African coast, one way or the other. So I've been around Microsoft for a while and that's my handle if you want to follow me. So today, what we're going to look at is why business insight in this digital transformed world. You guys are the next wave. You might not know, I think you should just gel up. Everything that is going to happen in this new age is going to happen from guys that, have, that can create insight for people. People that can use tools. I might not be the one that will do the demo for Excel like Michael, or the one that David is going to come, like the Power BI. But I just want to lay, I'm the soft guy in between two of them, to make you to understand that you are in an era that they need you for everything to happen. Why business insight in this digital transform world? That is a question. Is that for, for description or for transformation into information? What do you think? Can I have somebody in the house? What do you think data is? In, in, in those days, when data, people that get data, house data, they feel like champion. I have got all this data. I have it way out somewhere. And when they talk, it's as if they have this uh, data warehouse. They have to link this, transitional, and the rest. What do we use this data for? That is the question. And that's the age we have. And this data, it's, there's, a, there's a term now called big data. Everything is coming, converging in the points. But with all this, you find out that it's, it's not really worth it to have data without using it for information. Now, I, I did a typical example. How many of us go to a one-bed party every Saturday? Do you know the, the huge data? It's every Saturday in Lagos, so there is a movie that is coming up. They were talking of Lagos Life. I saw it in the preview when we took uh, Adna, one of the MVPs that came from London, and, and they were showing how Lagosian colorful party. And they're... Now, let's take a typical example of their own one-way party, and let's look at the data that is coming every Saturday. Photograph, Facebook, Instagram. What can I use this data to do? Do you know, I can actually use this data to know the trendy cloth they need to wear for the next parties. That is where you guys sit. And that is the power you have. Look, um, thank God for people like David and Michael and Deja and the rest that is bringing up this kind of thing to this area. Because there's a lot we can do. This is just my own myopic person thinking this way. What of you guys have this data to play with? I leave it there. What is business insight? Generally, business insight, they said, is combining data and analysis together. And when you combine these two, what will happen? I look at it this way. Business insight is the gap, is the gap builder. It's the one that can tell a CEO a CEO or a CFO to understand the next trend of business it can go to. I was in a presentation, yes, but I always tell this story. I, I started up as a research assistant. I worked for a company then in Stock Exchange Building at Ishekels. And then my MD and CEO, after we have gone to Meduguri, 
we did the project for MTEL and we gather all this information, put it on SPSS. <laughs> sure. We put every all those information there and the guy after spending two days with Excel, you know, we have done the dirty work. Oh. The guy come on stage and be bouncing and was telling MTEL that when you, are, you can get a phone with double SIMs, there are so many people that want to use multiple lines and that's what we're having today almost 10, 15 years ago. But do you know, the, the greatest, um, the acronym for our own work was not to us, we that went to gather the data, was to the guy on stage that was bringing this insight and bridging the gap and telling the CEO, telling the commissioner of information, telling the minister, this is the way we can make this brand to be better. And that is the era we are. I read a story from McKinsey and um, I want to do, I have a gift, it's a small sticker, you know. In those days, um, in the recent time, I noticed that instead of getting tattoos, why don't you put tattoo on your system and make it colorful? So I have some. So I want us to discuss this. Can anybody analyze these two diagrams? I would love the ladies to do that first. You know why? I always preach inclusion anywhere I go. We want more ladies, we want people, we want them to now take the central stage. Too much men. How many MVP in Nigeria? All males. One female. So that it will be soft landing. Any lady for us? Can, I, can you analyze this too? Forget this capture, just analyze it in your own way. Adia, the boy is coming to you. You say? Oh, who can see her? I know her, I don't want to call her. Um, Ma'am, can you help us with this? I want you to be interactive. Can you help us with these two diagrams? In your own understanding, what do you think these two is saying? You? Yes, ma'am. You say? You? Oh, why is the females? Can you help us to analyze this? I'm not putting you on spot. I just want your idea. It's not something that, yes, to separate in and just analyze it. OK, this one you can see. What do you think it's saying? Um, it's saying that some industries are more digital in nature. That okay. they probably use digital solutions more than the others. So can you use this to, to make a decision? Instantly. Well, um, or do you still need more analysis? Oh, make a decision instantly. Yes. Not necessarily, but if I was to just look at it at the service level, I might say that there's opportunity for growth. One. In the public sector, pharmacy, those ones that have. Okay. Maturity. Just diagram with statistics properly arranged by bringing, using the inside tools by like Power BI, like Excel, you can sell this to managers, make them to see the importance of using data they have and making an informed decision. Sorry, not <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> and I'll you. give the lady that made the statement, I'm not putting you on spot. <laughs> Thank you. So, what is the difference between data, information, and insights? What is data? I told you my experience. That's where I travel around the north. I went to Zamfara. You no, know, those days there was no killing, no. We are safe. So, travel to Zamfara, stay, so, stay in the villages, get data, get those data in Excel, take it to the head office, they mine it with the SPSS. We have the team that does that. And my MD go on stage and become champion while we do all those dirty work. Then what is information? Information is actually collecting those, those, info, those things from the data, like extracting it. And what is insight? Insight is now combining the two and bringing what? Intelligence out of it. Now, it has gone beyond just bringing intelligence. Michael just showed us what we can use machine learning to do, prediction. And 
that is the exciting about you teams, you guys, the team here. Because you are going to a point, I was in a section when David and Deji was there somewhere in Microsoft, and they showed something on Power BI, and they asked Power BI a question. What would be the, in, in my, they brought some data set, what would be the next opportunity for this business? And Power BI brought it out. Do this, do that, do that. And when you check it, it's real and to work. It might not be 100%, at least 98%. In the past, how do we do business insight? Now, I just brought a diagram, and it shows how industry. Now, business now, in, those, in, 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 the, in the past, you notice that most some business take 30 years, times the lifespan, but it has reduced gradually. Now, it's a, a company that can survive without intelligence can only last more than five, 10 years. They are gone. How many of you know what we call butter? I'm an old block. No, well. <laughs> you wore it. Second is school. Is it still around? They have a store. They are trying to bring it back. Oh, they are trying to bring it back. Oh. But do you know the flavor of butter those days? <laughs> Separate with your shoe. Oh, God. <laughs> that has him. That's the, the way they do inside those days is that they use intuition. They use tools that cannot give you definite idea on where you should go and how to predict it. And it was very, it's like you are, you are forcing yourself. But in those era, like my MD those days, it looked like a champion. What of, if it is now, what would the man become? They'll be calling him and to come and present. Because he transformed those data. He brings information out of it. With the little technology he has, he was using it for insights. But we are equipped now. And this day, we are now, we have a very good journey. Now, for me, this is the way I look at business insight. First of all, you need to have what happened, the reporting aspect. That's why Dave, uh, Michael was saying when I entered there, he said, you cannot do anything except you have data. So you must always unshake those data guys. They are, they are key to your success. Because if they give you, although they don't know, you have to transform those data, collate those data, clean it before you can use it for insight. They don't know what you go through. But the, the fact here is that you need to unshake them to get a proper reporting. Then you need what we call interactive dashboard. And that's why the power of Power BI. Now I'm going to show you a very simple tool how many of you use Office 365? They introduced it in 2016. It's called Microsoft Planner. Very simple. But do you know you can do a lot with it? Because of the insight that is embedded in it. We are going to look at it shortly because I have a short time. Then the next thing is, what will happen in the future? And that's what we cannot get in the whole era. You can predict what will happen in the future by creating model, like what he showed us in the morning, model that you can use Excel to create and you can predict loan. Many people need that prediction till now in the banks. Do you know how did they do, they go, insurance is what, so, sorry, is anybody in insurance? <laughs> <laughs> insurance, do you know what they do? They carry paper, they go and check the car, okay. Do you know you can build a model that can predict if your car is from 2020, 2013, 2016, it can live this lifespan. And you can now do a premium on it. What they do give it to give to us now is a straight jacket. Five thousand. And it can make more. What if my car is just the only car made and I brought it to the country? And my insurance should be this premium and I should get this premium. But they don't know because there's no prediction. Then what should I do? Where you are the champion like my MD is when you talk in the office and you are telling the MD with the Power BI, this is what you can do, this is what you can do, take this, it's become an insight to him. Instantly, we say, yes, we are taking the next direction. Like when I showed that on one bed, it's a common thing we see, but there's something you can get out of it. People go to party with different colors. I can, can you talk to the manufacturer and say, can you produce this kind of 
clothes in the rainy season in Lagos. The type of color they want is pink because of, you know, you know the way our road is. People don't want to use white. And that's a prediction. It can come like an insight and you can sell it and make money. I'm gradually coming to an end. So the convergence is now accelerating. Power of the cloud. Sorry, I, I, I'm, I, I'm talking a little bit marketing now. David and Michael will do the tech. <laughs> now, the cloud now is giving us enough energy that you can spin up a VM at a short time and you can do a lot of things with the cloud services. And that's what we don't have then. I remember when they are doing that SPSS, this guy, this assistant, can spend a week, two weeks. What? You will run and run, collate, but with few minutes, you can upload your data just as David did and do a prediction, which you cannot have. Sorry, Michael. Sorry, Michael, I mixed them. <laughs> David is um, after Nigeria. Sorry. So, data. <laughs> data now. The power, because we have data everywhere, we notice that you can even. You can even predict through Twitter, Facebook, what is people, what do they want, and get those information and make intelligence out of it. Everything is converging. And the truth is that the power is in your hand. You are. So I'm here, I'm a soft guy that is in between Michael and David, just to make you to know what you can do and to see how you can look at it. Now, I told you about what's happening. 25 years is seven years. Now, every the lifespan is shortened to 15 years. So that means your role is now showing anywhere, everywhere. Because a, a, a businessman does not want to spend time to begin to build and build. He wants information that can carry him to the next level. And that's what insight can do for you. So many solutions I said. Thank God they showed one using Excel. There are others like Bot, Convergent, um, all, all those things Microsoft is bringing up. Microsoft is really investing. And what they are trying to do is that they are making, yeah, they are making money, to be, to be frank, but they are trying to make things easier for us, giving you tools that you can make. And that's why we are calling for you to start bringing, um, bring your own application. Look at what Michael did on Excel. It's published, you can do the same, but how you look at it, the channels is there, and everything is there for you to take. How do you take it? A lot of it is all around the world. This is banking, professional services, this is what intelligence has been making people, and they have been using it. And they are, now, when we started with um, Watch it cinemas for those with you know those time you know this crocodile video and to have it on the streets is only one person you just queue to the window to begin to watch films. <laughs> Cinema came, you know, this guy, Netflix, they just came up. What can we do? Let's make a change. Everybody sits in their home. We have this home theater, some of our home theater when it's just like the cinema hall. Why do you have to pay for cinema? We can give you by service, pay for the video per month. And this guy is making it. You can do the same. Simple case study, Rolls Royce. They set out to do something. And this is what the um, senior vice president said some years back. Now, they have data. You know, intelligent cars are coming now. But do you know before they start building those intelligent, they went through research. They analyzed those data. They pull out information from it. And they brought insight. And this is their story now. This is what they did. They have an objective. They have a tactics. And it brought out results for them. I know there are some, some business owner here. I've, I've met one. There's one here. I know him very well. And a lot of us are here. You can actually run on this and make a change. Don't look at this user group as just a time for you to just come and have knowledge, go to the office, think out of the box. What can you do 
to make impact in this society. There's a lot of things we can change here in Nigeria. And we just need people that can just look at this objectively and walk towards it. Finally, I'll do my demo on Planner. I'll need volunteer, just three people. I'll send a team request to you, just accept as a guest. Then I build the planner and we'll see the inside that will come out of it. Any volunteer? Ah, thank God for the ladies. They are volunteering now. Thank you. Oh, well. Any other person? Okay. I still have a lot to give out. Just a Yama sticker. Ah, you got too good. Yeah. Any other person? Oh, another lady. We want inclusion here. Let's promote them. They should be on the center stage. So I'll just connect to my and try to do the. I hope my time is my time will be almost up, but yeah, my time is fine. This is too funky, man. They just send it to me. It's not funky. This is a new toy. Correct. <laughs> Um, oh, six. Okay. Just connect. Yeah, just connect. So the volunteer will give me your email address. So uh, you you get a, a prompt from team that should join my my channel just for us to display um, this. Okay. Okay. So I should start adding. Uh, So I just create this demo Power BI user group. So I want to add people. So the first person, Ye Tunde, okay. O V I T E. Okay. Oh, oh, do you mind just typing it? And not, and not mess up your name. Sorry, I'm used to that. Yeah, to come. Okay, now can you see what you. Tim does? He picks the name irrespective of the tenants. Then I can add her. We just wait for her to respond. Okay, gone. Almost, almost, um, yeah, gone. The next person, please. Once you have got the ticket, my sticker, your sinner, please come forward. Okay. Maybe the first four, we just stop there because of our time. Okay, results add. Hold on, let's once it's hard, close. Okay, let's add another person. Wow, we have five. Good. Okay, I think this guy is an office ceasefire guy. He knows what to do. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Let's add that. Yeah. Have you got any prompt? Those that have added there, have you got a prompt? Please, can you try? Okay. Last person.
rest of that must be in Nigeria for the next 30 years. <laughs> what generation are telling me, what is this? Our Naira has this, not that. And it changes because they were building on statistics. And the inside they got is that they destroyed them. So, in a nutshell, what this story is all about is that business insight is the next power of people that drive that. Don't just sit on just the data part or sit on the getting information. Try to drive the insight out of it. Everything you do, from Excel to Power BI to any fun function you try to try to bring an insight, and the prediction aspect is becoming trendy now, and that is where the big money is. It takes time. Like for insurance, I, I was building a, a software with my team then when I was working for the firm. And we noticed that at, on spots, when you have an accident, how do you send those information? Now, you need time stamp. You need to describe what kind of, and you can use it on your mobile app. Just take the picture, the software take it to the back end, send it to the server, and tell them that an incident happened at social time, and this is what happened, this is what happened. They can actually use their model to calculate what the premium they need to pay, maybe a third party or a full compressor. A lot of money is there for you guys. So, okay, please, uh, this owner of this, the following cards EKY. Nine nine two D. You need to move it. SNK forty four four zero four E T. You need to move it. EST one one eight D E. GG one eight E R. You need to move it. LND eighty three thirty W. You need to move it. Please just go downstairs and try it. So, in conclusion. Insight. Huh? Thank you for that. Uh, so, in conclusion, before I leave room for David to come and do this magic again on RPI, Maybe it's going to show us how we're going to bring data from one point and take it to the sky and think, I don't know. But the power is in our hands now to change the things we have been used to and make it more efficient. Thank you very much.